Want help to grow your business? Download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today. Hello and welcome to another wonderful episode of Teach Me Tech. I'm your host, Laurel Gray, and today we are talking all about an amazing tool called Recurly. Recurly is a billing engine for your business that allows you to generate plans for recurring subscriptions. Here's what we're going to cover on today's episode. First of all, why you need a recurring billing engine in your business in the first place. Starting before you're ready and imagining the next year of your business so that you can get everything set up correctly. Recurly versus other options that are on the market. Setting up your account. Navigating the Recurly dashboard and that functionality there. Configuring the absolute most important settings for your business so that you can get started easily and effectively. Um, configuring a payment gateway, such as Stripe, or if you're in the US, for example, direct debit. Adding your first plan. And finally, coupons and other cool features that you can add onto your recurring billing system including gift cards, actually, because we're getting close to Christmas. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get started. So why do you need a recurring billing engine in your business in the first place? Some of you might be thinking, look, I'm just a basic service business. I charge for consulting time, or I've got products that are only sold on a one-off basis. What you can do with Recurly, or any other recurring billing engine, for example, is you can set it up so that you do one-off purchases at the beginning and that you later can start to, to charge for recurring subscriptions later. If you don't have recurring income in your business, now is a great time to start thinking about for next year what type of recurring income you could have. So let me just come up with an example off the top of my head. Let's say that you're a photographer and you normally will just sell photography on, of course, a fixed fee. So let's say a customer comes to you and wants a full day shoot. You'll give a quote. You might quote for the number of photos that you're going to actually provide to them, the amount of processing that you'll include, and perhaps any actual printouts and framing that you might provide in addition to that. What you could even do is think about how you could monetize your business going forward. So it could be, for example, an annual calendar or some other print products that you might recur on an annual basis, an updating of a headshot that you do with a customer. Start to think about all the different aspects of your business that you could get on recurring in order to generate a really healthy, wonderful, recurring monthly, weekly revenue for your business. Chances are, if you're watching this episode, you've already begun to think about how you could get recurring billing in your business. Or perhaps you already are re doing recurring billing, but you're using Xero, QuickBooks Online, or perhaps manual billing to bill your clients on a monthly or perhaps even an annual basis. Is that you? It actually used to be me too. And to be honest, it took me a while to get my head around what I was going to do with a recurring billing system and also how my customers were going to react. So a really important part of this whole conversation is getting in place a system for how you're actually going to onboard your customers onto your new recurring system. For a lot of people, it's scary. So what I'd like to do today is walk you through a system that I would recommend for onboarding customers that you might already have on existing subscriptions across, or gently broaching the topic of onboarding customers into the system if they're buying a new product or recurring service from you. Now, if this idea is still a little bit esoteric to you, I want to bring you onto the Recurly website um, because they've got some examples here of what recurring billing options you could have for your business. So what I want to encourage you to do is really think about for the next year of your business, what are a couple of ways that you could, uh, let me rephrase that, what are a couple of, of different types of recurring revenue that you could bring into your business just to streamline things and make it a lot easier so that you don't have to consistently generate invoices all the time from your own billing system, such as Xero or QuickBooks Online, and it all just happens automatically. All right, let's hop onto the Recurly website, and I'll just sort of give you a couple of different options here. All right, 
So when you hop onto Recurly.com, it says here powering subscription success. Recurly is a system that powers large, large businesses for subscriptions, but they also have got options for very small businesses that are just starting out. So don't be intimidated by their website. They've got a lot of cool graphics, and this is also an indication of what the inside of Recurly looks like. Unlike most systems like, for example, Xero or QuickBooks, like I mentioned before, Recurly is built for recurring billing. So you're going to get a lot of added functionality that you won't find in your existing accounting system. Now, you might be thinking as well that, and, and especially as this headline would say, reduce churn and increase revenue by 7%. You're probably thinking, well, I don't have that many people on my recurring billing system, so reducing churn or reducing the number of people that drop off from the subscriptions, that doesn't apply to my business. But what I really want you to do is think about your business in one year from now or in three years from now. I know with myself, in the beginning of this year, I started off with $12 in recurring revenue in my own business, and I've been able to grow that significantly during this year just by focusing on it. And we all know that when we focus on a certain thing in our business, that's what happens. So think about for your business what you could possibly do. With Recurly, they've got this, uh, at the moment, they're offering the top 10 trends for subscription success in 2017 that you could have a look at. Um, and you could even Google, uh, if you wanted to, what could I, uh, what kind of recurring subscriptions could I have in my business? And a page will come up from Recurly. Now, what you can also do is just have a quick look here at the different products. So what we'll do here is just have a look at the billing models. Okay, a successful subscription business begins with pricing and packaging. So this is something that is not going to just happen all at once. It might require a little bit of thinking about how you want to uh, package and price your products. But like I mentioned before, you could do what are called one-time charges, which means rather than having an online system such as WooCommerce or by selling directly by invoice through your current accounting system, you could put the one-time charges through Recurly and have your customers automatically use a credit card to pay for that one-time charge. You can also do what are called fixed recurring uh, billings, which means, like, let's say, for example, with a website hosting, uh, let's say it's $500 a year to host a website, you could bill your customers on a fixed day every single year, let's say 1st of July every single uh, billing year, or 1st of the month, uh, and set it up on a fixed recurring. Decide if you want to charge tax or have tax be inclusive or not charge tax, um, and then it will automatically recur every single time with either a reminder or without a reminder. The other options are to have seat-based billing. Now, this is great if you're selling to, if you're an IT business, for example, selling to your customers specific uh, email seats. So let's say a business has got 50 employees and in, you bill them per month. So let's say it's March 2016 and they've got 50 employees. And in April 2016, they moved to uh, 60 employees. Recurly will allow you to incrementally change the number of seats and then have it grow. Um, so that you're constantly billing your customers for their usage, uh, their seat usage, rather. Then there's usage-based billing here, which allows you to bill your customers based on a specific amount. So if we go back to, well, maybe we won't use the photography example. Let's say that you're a printing business and you help businesses to print flyers every single month um, on a recurring model. And so every month they're going to send a new flyer, let's say it's a beauty salon, and they're going to be updating their, uh, their promotional material and printing with you every single month. Let's say they want to upgrade from 500 copies that month to 1,000. You can go in and amend the usage-based billing so that that amount changes. So hopefully this has given you a few different ideas for how you could start to introduce recurring subscription billing into your business. I'll just scroll down the page a little bit more and walk you through some more of the examples that Recurly gives. Um, so they've got the one-time charge model, and um, I just want to show this because this shows how you can make it look on your website. Now with Recurly, for example, you're able to use their charge pages, which are basically hosted pages with the HTTPS um, that Recurly will host for you and for your business to generate these types of subscriptions so that your customers can sign up. The other option is that you can use one of Recurly's amazing APIs to build out your own landing page. 
So this just gives you an example with the smart security camera. This is a specific product that they're selling for a fixed price. And um, it's, oh, ooh, sorry about that. It's best for merchants who include one-time products as part of a subscription plan. So later you could always on, on sell that specific customer on either another fixed product or some kind of add-on. The fixed recurring model, um, this is when you want to actually have the monthly subscription. And what you can do on your website is even put in all the inclusions there, where it says unlimited streaming, thousands of artists, and no commercials. Um, you could put all those inclusions and then have the subscribe button direct people direct to the landing page. Um, this is perfect if you've already got a WordPress website that doesn't have the HTTPS on the menu bar or on the URL bar, and you want to still be able to sell online. Recurly will enable you to do that using their included hosted landing pages. All right. Um, again, with this, um, with this type of model as well, you're able to do add-ons, change quantities, and add-on sort of fixed uh, price goods along the way as well, which I'll show you how to do. Okay. Then the seat-based model, this is where you can actually change the number of users. And the usage-based model, this one is an example with a text messaging business where it's two cents per message, uh, and then you're able to charge on an additional monthly fee, for example. So that's one thing that I didn't mention before, is that you can actually sort of bundle these recurring subscriptions together. So let's say it is uh, you're selling based on 50 seats per month. You can also add on usage-based billing. Let's say if people go over their email storage and they need to be charged an additional fee, all of that can be done within Recurly. All right. So, what I would love to do is move on to the next section here um, and just quickly touch on Recurly versus the other options that are in the marketplace. I want to very quickly touch on this because there are so many varied options and you want to make sure that this is going to be the exact right option for you. So, for example, there's another option called Chargebee um, and there's another one called Chargeify. And even if you look within Stripe, there is a recurring billing plan within Stripe that allows you to set up the plan and then recur your customer charges. Now, the advantage of using a Recurly versus some of those others is that they're constantly updating their software. And secondly, they're building in all of those beautiful customer management and hosting page options for you, as well as giving you full and complete analytics and reporting around the signups. So when we go inside Recurly, you'll, it'll make a little bit more sense about the reporting side of things. But let's say you're just running things uh, through Stripe. Yes, you're going to get the charge reporting, but you're not going to be able to see on a monthly basis which customers are signing up for which subscriptions, which ones are dropping off, um, which ones are having their charges failed, for example. And with Recurly, you're going to get beautiful reporting so you get insights into all of that important information for your business. Okay, so I could go on probably forever about the comparisons between the different tools. Recurly just happens to be one of those standout pieces of software that I love using. I do use it in my own business. Um, that doesn't mean that you can't go and explore the other options in the marketplace. This just happens to be the one that I know how to use and I think could potentially help your business. Okay, but always do your research before you pick a tool. All right, let's have a look at how to set up your account right after a short break. Hello, and we're back talking all about Recurly, which is a recurring billing engine that's going to help you get loads more money in your business and also save you tons of time. Let's go in and work on setting up your account. Before we do that, I want to just bring you right back to the landing page and show you what the inclusions are for every brand new account. Let's head onto the computer and I'll show you. All right, so it gives you here rich marketing tools. To continue enjoying this presentation, download Brin, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Brin.ai or search the App Store today.